Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to drill holes in glass bottles using a glass drill bit. There's some cool projects you can do with bottles that have holes in them. This is a water level or a liquid level. If this bottle raises up, the liquid in this bottle gets fuller, and vice versa. Doesn't matter the size of the bottle, the diameter of it, the water will always be the same level because the hose connecting them makes them a continuous body of water. This is a one quarter inch drill bit that is designed for glass that happens to be just a tiny bit smaller than the outside diameter of one quarter inch polyethylene tubing. When working with glass, always wear gloves and eye protection. Start by drilling a small starter hole towards the bottom of the bottle with moderate pressure. The shallow etch in the glass should look something like this. The friction from the bit pouring through the glass produces heat that will cause stress on the glass and possibly break it. To solve this problem, a small bath of water should be filled deep enough to completely submerge the glass bottle. An LED flashlight will aid in illuminating your progress. One option to remove air trapped inside the bottle is to fill it with water, cover the top of the bottle with your hand, then place it back in the bath. This allows the water to come in contact with both sides of the glass preventing temperature differences. The waterproof camera is optional. Using a cordless drill, apply light pressure as you begin to drill the hole. Glass particles will appear in the water as a white milky solution. When this begins to appear inside the bottle, you have now completely penetrated the glass wall and it's now time to use even less pressure and slow the drill speed down. Occasionally reversing the drill prevents the bit from getting wedged and shattering the bottle. I'm tapering a rusty rasp designed for sharpening chainsaws. Any round rasp will work and may be required to slightly enlarge the hole for the polytubing to fit into. Filling the bottle with water will instantly reveal any leaks. Make sure the tubing fits as tightly as possible. No DIY project is complete without showing you what not to do. Using too much pressure will cause tiny cracks around the hole that will leak and don't even bother trying to seal this with silicone. Just recycle this one and make a new one. This is another option to removing trapped air that works great for thicker bottles. Just like bottle cutting, thicker walled glass is easier to work with. There is much less chances of cracking than that of a thinner walled beer bottle. When a bottle with a hole is placed inside a tub of water, the water level inside the bottle will match that of the surrounding water in the tub. This is why the water level works. The holes drilled in the bottles do not need to be the same height so long as they are both below the surface of the water. Adding food coloring increases the visibility of the water surface, and as more water is added, the migration of colored water becomes visible as the water level balances between the two bottles. As mentioned before, the bottles do not need to be the same size. A larger bottle will work together with a smaller bottle because the tops are opened and the air pressure pressing down on the water is the same in both bottles. Water tension can cause minor issues, but a couple squirts of rubbing alcohol can prevent the raised water line where it contacts the glass. Clean and dry the outsides of both bottles and place them on a level surface. Using two pieces of frosted tape, carefully place them right on the water line of both bottles. Using a permanent marker, draw a line on top of the tape and smudge it so you also wipe off any marker residue from the glass. You now have a level. If one bottle is raised, the water will flow out of the higher bottle into the lower bottle revealing the difference in height. One additional thing you can do with this project is adding a clear measuring guide to the higher bottle. This will measure the height difference. It will not work as well on the lower bottle as volume displacement becomes a factor. Before we test this outside, here's an easy option that requires no bottles. Because water tension can cause issues in the absence of larger containers, siphoning rubbing alcohol into clear tubing does the trick. When the tube is filled with alcohol and bubble free, the liquid level is the same at both ends of the tube. Even if you raise up one end of the tubing, the alcohol will flow to an even level. This is a carport Denise and I built in under three hours. Let's assume we wanted to place a rail that was perfectly level across the 16 feet span. At the desired height, a mark is placed at the top of one end of the tubing. The other end of the tubing is clamped to an estimated height on the distant carport leg, making sure that the tubing is not kinked or sealed. 
When rubbing alcohol is sprayed to fill the tubing, one side overflows, letting me know the tubing closer to the camera is lower than the tubing further away. After a few minor adjustments, the level of alcohol is the same in both ends of the tubing and our second mark can now be placed. These marks are now perfectly level and that's all there is to it. So this stick right here is our control. It is, has been laser leveled with our bricks over there. And I have this jack stand set up to be equal to the height of the stick that we used with the laser level. Close up, our water on this one is right at the line because we calibrated it from the base. So the base is what matters and the amount of water that's in there. And if I come all the way over here, take a peek at this one. Its water level is also at the tape mark. This setup will work for distances over 100 feet. As Denise raises the jack stand above the height of the control stick, the bottle on the stationary bricks begins to fill above the line, letting us know that we are no longer level. Once lowered back to position, the liquid returns back to the tape marks. For longer distances exceeding 200 feet, regular garden hose will work well and can be easily attached to two larger containers. This is a very solid design. It has been tested with a DIY laser level costing less than 20 bucks that I'll be showing you in a future video. The level beam of light simultaneously crosses the surfaces of the liquid in both bottles, proving the accuracy. Even when the bottles are spread apart over a few feet, the beam matches the surface of the water in both bottles. One advantage this setup has over consumer laser levels is usage in bright daylight when the laser beam is almost impossible to see and working around corners. This device will even work in separate rooms with doors and walls that would otherwise block the direct line of sight required with laser levels. We would like to send out a special thank you to Harry's for supporting this video and let you know they offer an entire month of shaving supplies with the Truman set for only $10 when you enter this promo code. This code will also save you $5 on other items from their website, including the Winston set shown here for only $20. If you shave or know someone who does, Harry's is definitely worth checking out. Please rate this video and feel free to comment or ask questions. Also subscribe and check out our channel with over 400 DIY projects. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.